So you have a model that can change by clicking a button and having a message, but how do you make it dynamic based on what we type in this field? We have to create a message when you type in this field to store that data. Now, if you're from a Angular or Vue or React, you can actually target the input tag itself, get the data from it, some type of ID or whatever, and then use that as an input so when you click an add, you can throw it up there. But that's not how Elm works. Elm does not have that state. These are literal functions that take inputs and produce outputs. That output is data. And that data, very similar to JSX and React, is used by the framework to draw this DOM and make it super efficient. It doesn't redraw if it doesn't need to, those kind of things. So there's no state in Elm. You can't create state. So what we have to do is store what you type in the input on the model so we can then target it and get it out. So let's use a very similar event called on input and use that up top. So first we'll imp import on input, on, not in, goofball. I know it seems like you're in input, but it's not quite the same thing. We'll say on input and some message. So the message we kind of care about is, hey, you changed the add text. There we go. And so we'll go create a new message called changed add text. So when I click it, it'll do the same thing. But notice if we reload, it doesn't compile. And that's because change add text, the message comes with something extra. When you type in a view or a text field, it's gonna get the text that you actually type in the field. So this is actually gonna automatically get a second parameter for you. So we have to add that. And so it's, this second parameter is gonna be a string. So we'll say change add text will have a first and only parameter, that's a string. So now we can do it, but the problem is now update doesn't handle all the cases. One of the possibilities it's missing is change add text. If we go down to update, you can see we've got add, but we're missing change add text. And this is why using types with case of is superior to switch statements because the compiler can tell you, hey dude, you're missing all possible scenarios. And so what a lot of times people use is default to guarantee that they cover all scenarios. Here we have this thing called a compiler and types that help us do that. So for now, we'll just return model. But it still isn't quite right because this gets a parameter. So we're gonna say the text that you typed. And hit save, reload, and it compiles, hooray. But we can't see what it is. So let's go ahead and debug that and see what it is. You notice I'm doing a nested let statement. Again, as long as what's below it is like this or like this, and it returns the value, as long as this is an expression or whatever, you can put if statements here if you want. As long as that's there, you can do whatever you want here. So we'll say log three, log the text, and then the text copy pasta coding for the win. Reload, and you can see it's down there. As soon as you type the text that you type, and every time we type text, it's gonna fire that message off and print it out. Cool, so now we have a message that whenever you type in text, it will fire the update function, say, hey, I got some text, I need you to store it. For now, we just return the model. 